Welcome back to the Making the Madness YouTube channel. This is Jonathan here to break down the news as Jalen Graham has decided to become a Razorback. Uh, certainly, you know, kind of another good addition to this uh, Arkansas front court. Uh, this is an Arkansas front court that, you know, now adds both Mitchell twins, uh, already has Jalen Williams. Uh, and, you know, Jalen Graham just adds another piece to this already kind of loaded front court and this loaded team that's you know expected to be very good as we go into next season Graham you know he was kind of an interesting player throughout his career at Arizona State started the his career come off the bench not being a real high minute guy but kind of developed more and more into a role as he went about and you know certainly his senior year averaged nine and a half points a game was a good rebounder uh, was you know a solid shot blocker so he's he's someone that I think can go out and kind of play the four for uh, this Arkansas team at time and you'll be an effective player and you know he's not gonna space the floor he's not really a three-point threat uh, but he's someone that you know kind of has a bit of athleticism can be somewhat of a good defensive player for them and uh Look, this is a, another solid addition for Arkansas, and this is an Arkansas team that, coming into the off season, we don't we didn't really know where they were going to go because, I mean, they certainly have the you know potential for returning a lot of pieces, and Jalen Williams will be the biggest one to kind of keep an eye on as the season goes about. I mean, he him coming back would you know dramatically improve this team's ceiling in terms of experience and. All that surrounds that, you know, D Devo Davis, I think, is going to continue to step up into a bigger role. But when you look at this team, I mean, Nick Smith Jr., you look at him, 6'5 guard, he's a superstar. He's going to be a big player. They also have Anthony Black, another, you know, he's a 6'7 uh, kind of combo guard. So you have those two players uh, just in itself. I mean, that that is, you know, what you're looking at. You've also got some you know, good overall pieces, like you have a Trevon Brazil, you have a Barry Dunning, you have you know Joseph Pinson, so or Pinion. So this is a really kind of deep Arkansas team uh, with a lot of pieces on it, and it's a team that you know if things break right, like if Jalen Williams returns, you have him alongside this deep front court. We know Eric Musselman is not going to be done in the transfer portal. Uh, that would just be crazy to think otherwise because he is going to continue to add guys like that that is what Eric Musselman does he's going to stockpile talent he's going to you know maybe make it to where there's just such an abundance of talent on this roster that maybe even some players end up having to transfer because there isn't going to be roles that's what Eric Musselman has done as time at Nevada that's what he's doing at Arkansas and uh, certainly, you add all this transfer talent that he's able to bring in, and then you combine that with the fact he is now getting five star, superstar, you know, potential number one recruits in Nick Smith Jr. I mean, that is what makes uh, what Eric Musselman is doing super dangerous, uh, and you know, a team that going into next season uh, sh should be you know right there atop the SEC standings, and should be a team that you know come March Madness we're talking about being one of the favorites to cut down the nets. So Jalen Graham, another you know solid addition for this Arkansas team, and they continue to build towards winning another national championship uh, in the first one of this century. Thanks again for tuning in to Making Madness on YouTube, and make sure to subscribe. We'll be back.